Hello, YouTube family. Stick around. We're making Caribbean style fish cake or fish patties. So keep watching and I'll show you how I make it with fresh ingredients. Delicious and scrumptious with lots of flavor. Welcome back to my channel, it's Caribbean Ducks. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you can see more videos like this. Let's get started. This is one of the most delicious fish. It's called a ladyfish, but it's not a very popular fish because of the flesh. All right, I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, so use your imagination. What I'm trying to do here is fillet this fish. And the reason why this is not the most popular fish is because of the flesh is so soft that you can use a spoon or your fingers just to remove all the flesh from this fish. And this is why it's so desirable for this recipe. We're making fish cake here or fish patty. So continue to watch and I'll show you how I put it all together. One teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and one teaspoon of your favorite Cajun seasoning. About a pound and a half of meat that I scooped out from the fish. We have scallions, celery, sweet peppers, thyme, garlic, onion, carrot, one egg, and some breadcrumbs. Now let's get started. We're gonna cut all these ingredients up into very small pieces. Now keep in mind, you can use a blender, a food processor to get everything into fine pieces. But I just find this satisfying to cut everything up by hand and get it into nice, small, tiny pieces so we can mix it all together. So continue to watch. So now that we have all our ingredients minced into fine pieces, we can go ahead and start putting it all together and combine everything. Just scoop everything into your mixing bowl and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna go in with my one egg. Now this spatula is not doing me justice, so I'm gonna wash my hand and dive right in so I can get this thing mixed very good. Now, no other utensil works better than this. I'm also gonna go in with one teaspoon of my own blended all-purpose green seasoning. 
and about four tablespoons of breadcrumbs to bring it all together. Now keep in mind, many people may use potatoes as well. If you fully cooked your potatoes, smash them, you can add them in instead of the breadcrumbs, that's optional. Now I'm gonna go in with about two tablespoons of olive oil so we can mix it and keep everything moist. Get in there with your hands and mix it well. And now we're gonna make it into little balls and flatten them into patties or little fish cakes. So here's the technique that I use. I make a little ball, put it in the palm of your hand, then I flattened it out and make it into a little circle. I use my thumb and index finger, make it into a semicircle, and then we shape it into that round circle that we need. Now we get our oil nice and warm, about 200 degrees. We wanna keep it on low to medium heat so that everything cooks evenly. And the reason is we keep the temperature on low. We wanna ensure that this is fully cooked from the inside out. Cause if you have it on high heat, it'll just cook from the outside. You'll get the nice crunchy brown outside, but the middle will not cook. Very important to keep it on low and cook it evenly. So after about two to three minutes, we're gonna give it a nice turn and watch it come nice and golden brown. Let it fry for another few minutes on the other side. Remove it, let it drain. And we're gonna continue the cooking process with all our patties, or all our fish cakes. Now the thicker patties, I let them cook for about 30 seconds more in the hot oil to ensure that it's fully cooked. Now we're gonna continue on with our cooking. But before, I'm gonna start sampling, piping hot, delicious, fully cooked and moist with all the vegetables in there, the carrots, celeries, keep it moist and delicious. Very tasty, yeah, I couldn't resist sampling. So here's a closer look at what's going on with my frying pan. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. It's absolutely delicious. You can use any type of fish that you like. Some people use the codfish, the pollock. You can use any kind of fish. Just make sure you get all the bones out. And this is it. A delicious scrumptious fish cake. Caribbean style or fish patties. You can put this right into some bread and have this as a fish burger. Delicious. Must try. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Give me a thumbs up. Quick, simple, easy recipe. And 
I'm gonna dig right in with my favorite sauce. I just like this with simple tartar sauce. You can use any of your sauce. Just keep on trying. Anybody can cook. I'll see you on the next episode. Caribbean Ducks here.